This is Maria. This is Hester. Together we are the Concert Counselors! Today we present a few ways in which you can use the metronome to improve your ensemble playing. Some are classics and others may be not so known to you, but for sure they are all very useful. Yeah. Let's use the metronome to practice one of the pieces in our repertoire. And we will focus on the first movement of a duet by Telemann. And you will find the full reference and the link to the sheet music in the video description. Option 1. The metronome beats according to the time signature. In this case, 4 beats per bar. Our metronome mark is 90 beats per minute. Use this option if you don't know the piece very well yet. Because you can literally check beat by beat if you are playing rhythmically and if you are playing together with your colleagues. Option 2. Set the metronome to play only two beats to the bar, so half of the speed we had before, which is in this case 45 beats per minute. Like this, your overview is twice as long. And that means that you can play lighter and that you can also play less accented. Option 3. Keep the metronome beating twice per bar, but now instead of on the downbeat and the third beat of the bar, uh, let it beep on the second and the fourth beat, on the after beat. This is a great exercise to avoid speeding up or slowing down and to make the music swing. Focus, for example, on the timing of the two sixteenth notes following a syncopated quarter note. Since the downbeat is not given by the metronome, uh, it is very useful to count in before you are playing in a jazzy way, like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Option 4. With most modern metronomes and metronome apps, you can set very low tempi and that means that you can go one step further and let the metronome beep only once to the bar, so on the down bit. This exercise is very useful if you know the piece very well and if your ensemble is very confident about the rhythm. Its main goal is actually to have a little bit of freedom within the time of one bar, making sure that we are back in track at the following bar line. The metronome can also be very helpful um, if you want to practice fragments in which various lines are uh, exchanging movement or certain motives. For example, look at bars 5 and 6 of the example we just played. You will see that there is a line of 8 notes divided over the two lines and there is also a line of 16th notes equally divided over the two lines. Let's practice the eighth note line first. And you can use all the methods we used before, but we would like to choose the two beat per bar option because in that case we can uh, really focus on the development in the line. Let's practice bars five and six with pickup and we only play 
the eighth notes or longer values and all the small values we leave out. Let's focus on sounding as if we are one player, giving the music direction over these two bars and also focus on if we share the length, if we share the volume and if we share the same articulation. Let's now practice the line of 16th notes in the same way. We play only when we have 16ths and leave the rest out. In this case, it's even more important to share speed, direction and articulation as if we are one player and give the line to each other. The main goal of practicing with metronome is to become more precise and to develop our sense of rhythm. However, the metronome should never steal your musical expression. We also do not need to feel dependent on the metronome to play a piece. Let's not be metronome slaves. So, after practicing a passage with all the exercises before, please let's get rid of this machine and let's focus on all the improvements it has brought to us. We are very proud to announce that the concert counselors feature in the summer issue of the Recorder magazine, which is just out. We would like to thank the editor-in-chief Barbara Law for offering us some space to uh, share our story with you, including a few special tips for ensemble players, exclusive for you. Of course, some other great recorder players provided content for the magazine as well. And some of them are also very good friends of ours. For example, Anna Steckman, Sarah Jeffrey, Fatima Laham and Robert de Bray. We leave you a link in the video description uh, so that you can check out the magazine's website and perhaps take an online subscription or maybe even a paper subscription. Happy reading! Don't forget to subscribe! And if you have questions or comments for us, contact, contact us here! Bye bye! Bye! Thanks for watching! Practice!